everybody, Josh from Populi, and cloning content from an old term to a new term is great, as long as you do it right. If you don't do it right, it's more than a little like after your dog runs into the house after just a few short hours in the swamp. Lots of annoying cleanup. This video is going to be most helpful for faculty and teaching assistants, but academic admins and registrars will also want to have a look. Also, if you're coming to this video because you already know what you've done wrong and just want to see how to do this right, we've added a chapter that will take you to the solution. Let's get an idea of what this looks like when it goes wrong. The problem mostly arises within lessons. Again, this is the wrong way to do this. So you're building your lesson content, you add a section for content, and you're working in the lesson content WYSIWYG. You have a file that you've uploaded to the course, you go to the file, you go up to that URL bar, you grab the old URL there and you copy it. You add that to the lesson that you're working on, so you would paste it in just like this, or you enter some text like so, and then you use the link icon above to create a hyperlink, you enter the URL into that and save it. The same is true for assignments. I go to an assignment in Populi, grab the URL, paste it into the lesson content, save. Great, everything works for students in this course instance. Let's call this one course instance A. But then next term rolls around and you create course instance B and you import files, assignments, and lessons from course instance A. And then students go to the lesson and try to access those links for files and assignment and it's no dice. You thought it was gonna be dice, but it's actually no dice. That's gambling for you, house always wins. Snake eyes. The upshot of this is that you've attached files this way for all your lessons on a course, all term. And then you're gonna to have to go through and redo every link. There are worse fates, but this is definitely needless toil. What's happening is that the URLs on those assignments and files are only authorized for someone enrolled in that course instance, course instance A. The web addresses for them are specific to that instance. But I'd rather light a candle than curse the darkness. Let's look at the right way to handle this. You have options. We're creating a lesson here on design. You can add files within the lesson content WYSIWYG. Let's go to that file we wanna add. Over here on the right, we've got those three dots. Click on those. Now, select Manage Links, add a link, and then copy the link. You add that to the lesson you're working on. You paste it in just like this, or you can use some text like so. Click the link icon up in the panel here, paste the link address in there, and create a hyperlink, save. Or, back on that file, you grab the embed link, bring that back to the lesson content, open the source code here, and enter it in. Save. You have another option. You can add a file directly to this lesson. You add a section for file, you upload the file, make whatever adjustments to these settings, and then you save. That file is now attached to that lesson and will import to the next term properly. That's how you handle files. Now for assignments. You'll see that under sections down here, you have one titled assignment. Click that and you'll find that this drop down here lists your available assignments. Select one of those, make your adjustments to the settings and save. This has been our course A done correctly. Let's go to the next terms course, course B. We've imported those files and assignments and lessons, and let's see how this works for students. Student clicks on any of the hyperlinked files, or the student clicks on the assignment here. The links all work. Now you can confidently import this content on courses from term to term without having to redo all those links every term. Wow. I mean, schwow.
Do you want to dig deeper and get more value out of Populi for your school? Join our Discord server. It's where Populi users can ask each other questions and capitalize on community knowledge. If you want to become part of that community, go to help in Populi and choose join the user community. That'll take you to a spot that has instructions about how you can get set up. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.